while the skyrocketing price of health care hitting a new milestone. A new study finds the average annual cost of a family's health care premiums has now passed the $15,000 mark. That's a 9% jump from just last year. Now many employers want their employees to contribute more to cover those rising costs. The employers don't want to have to take it all on, on themselves. Plus, the rising costs are being blamed for holding down hiring, and the president's health care overhaul is getting part of the blame. Joining me now, Fox News contributor Leslie Marshall, who is a Fox, uh, who's a radio talk show host, along with Lars Larson, who is also a syndicated radio talk show host. All right, panel. So uh, the report from the Kaiser uh, Foundation, which monitors this stuff, and, and that they are they've been pro the, the president's health care overhaul, is that the uh, employer provided health insurance has gone up 89 percent in 2011, passing 15,000 for family coverage now, which is more than the cost of a car. But they say that only about 1.5% of that is due to the health care uh, law and, and the provisions so far. So, Lars, does that, does that bode well or poorly for the Obama administration? It really bodes poorly because ultimately the Obama health care plan called for covering another 40 million people in America, some of them the illegal aliens you were just talking about, and that's going to cost money. Obama tried, the president tried to say that this wasn't going to cost any more, but that's simply not true. They borrowed half a trillion dollars from Medicare, and that's going to hurt America's seniors. And this does not bode well because all those insurance companies are going to have to adjust their rates upward as the increased mandates, the illegal aliens, the uncovered Americans, and including a large group of young Americans who make healthy salaries above 50000 who simply chosen not to buy health care. All those people have to be covered. This is, it's, it has yet to roll all the way through but it's going to be a big barrier to making new jobs in this country. You no, know, Leslie, it says, so we've got a 9% increase going in, but they say about a 1.5% of that is due to the president's health care law. Uh, nonetheless, you know, I think Americans, they don't care. It's like 9%, right? they got to pay more at 9%. You know this because your, your husband's a doctor. So what, what of the president's promise that this health care law would lower the costs to Americans? Well, quite frankly, if you remember, Megan, and I'm one of the uh, Democrats that was in agreement with the president and other Democrats when pushing for health care reform, including a public option. I have said before, and I'll say it again, a mandate really doesn't work without a public option. And I think that this uh, study and this increase just shows why we need a public option, because the public needs an alternative, an affordable option, the employers and the employees. In addition, when we look at 1% of 9%, that still leaves us with 8% and asking why was there an increase. I have to tell you, personally and for my two businesses that I own, when I have called my insurer, who will remain nameless, and I've asked why the increases and what benefits do I receive, what increased benefits, none, and why the, why the increase. They can't answer, and sorry, Lars, but they never say, it's Obamacare. Well, you know who can answer? Uh, I, I mean, according to the New York Times, Lars, these insurance companies are jacking up the premiums on people and corporations because starting in 2012, the new health care law is going to require them to justify uh, raising prices, and uh, at least if, if they do it more than 10 percent. So the, the speculation is that they're hiking up our premiums right now before they have to account for why they're going to hike our premiums. Well, part of the problem is that all these companies have to anticipate unknown future costs imposed by this new law, and they're going to have to get the money from somewhere. This is not a charity organization, these insurance companies. They are for-profit companies. And I think a lot of them realize that a lot of big employers are going to start shedding their health care plans. That's why the Obama administration's already granted, in some cases, political favors, 1,400 waivers to major unions and even whole states for mandates under the Obamacare plan. Those costs have to be covered by somebody. And to believe that all of this was going to happen without additional cost, Leslie, excuse me, although I am glad to say that Leslie's husband will help pay the cost because you know the administration is already going to say, already said, that they're going to cut payments to doctors. So, Leslie, I'm sorry, but if you need some charity, Republicans are always good for that when they cut your husband's paycheck back. What, what is going to happen, Leslie? What is going to happen? Because right now we're only sort of on the front end of the mandates of the health care law, you know, kids having to stay on their parents' insurance plans until they're 26 and some others. Uh, but this is only the front end. And now, you know, the, the, the real things don't hit until 2014. Might that 1.5% be up a lot higher once the rest of the mandates kick in? 
Well, you know, we talk about blaming Obama and, as, as you like to call it, Lars, Obamacare. But really, if the insurance companies are raising the rates in the premiums, the insurance companies are to blame. This comes down to greed. I mean, look at even in a oh, bad economy, what please. companies have done the best on Wall Street? Insurance companies, medical related companies, they've done quite well. I'm sorry, Lars, my violin stays in the case for guys that are making major seven digit salaries, have a golden parachutes even if they fail. And when you talk about they need to pay for this, hey, if it's a mandate that is going to go forward, depending on a Supreme Court ruling forthcoming at some point in the future, perhaps in the near future, if if the Supreme Court says, hey, th this, this is constitutional, they're going to have droves of business. Every single person that has yeah. to buy insurance doesn't have a public option. Megan. They're going to be making go, tons guys. of I'm money. I'm sorry. They're, they're giving me the hard rap in my ear, but uh, we will pick this up <laughs> at a future date. Thank you both so much.